passion, passion, passion is, is a juvenile word. Passion is an immature ideology. I, I don't believe in passion. I believe in drive. I believe in rigor. I believe in diligence. Um, some people could call that passion, but I, I think that it's way more complex than that. You know, like when people devote their lives to something, it, it, to demean it by saying that he's so passionate, I think is, isn't enough. Dante's Inferno is um, a piece of theater about internal hell. Um, it's about how people plague themselves. Um, I don't like how I look. Jim's not going to like how I look. I, I'm not making enough money. I, I need to be more ambitious. I need to pay my rent. I need to get a wife. I need to have a BMW. I, I need to stop smoking. I need to stop eating these foods. This the internal turmoil that every single human puts themselves through on a daily basis. How do we find hope? How do we get through that hell? How do we get through the pressures of an urban lifestyle? I mean, our rehearsals are minimum four hours long. By the end of that, you're exhausted. You're fully exhausted. You're sweating, your, your muscles are destroyed. You are um, in, that, in that state of flow that I was talking about previously. I've had days where I was like crying and screaming because I felt it was so unfair that I had to put myself through this and you know everybody goes through those moments. Yeah man, when you lock in and you just like, you're not even thinking, you're just feeling and moving and you're just in that moment and it's all, it all like everything, everything just melts into this beautiful one, like this moment and you can't really, it's really, really hard to describe it, it's like flow, it's just pure impulse and flow and connection and then when you've got like Helen, like she would look at Helen in the eyes or something and we'll just connect and then you know, and it's hard, sometimes you don't connect, but you just keep perse persevering and finding that flow. And it's, yeah, it's awesome, man. Techniques are difficult, they challenge us in many ways, and it's about learning to stop listening to the bit of you that goes, oh, I can't do it, or I don't want to, and as soon as you learn to do that, and as soon as you learn to kind of justify what you're doing, it's amazing how, how much stronger you get, how much more you're willing to do, how many risks you take, how much more fun you start having with everything. I think that the, the connection and the development that, that eight or nine people create when they're in, the play, in, a, in a space together, when, when, when ten people, or five people or two people choose to focus all of their, their attention and energy onto one thing, a really intense connection occurs between those two people. <laughs> It's different, it's like when you're doing all this shit with the, with the crafters, man, it's magical, like, it's, it's out of this world. It's, it's spiritual, man, it's, it, you know, and I'm not like, a, I don't go to church and stuff like that, but it's, it's something. Um, what can I do? What can I give? You know, how can I bleed? You know, this is my only life. So why, the, why would I ever choose to live in fear of anything? Well, I'm not going to. I'm going to choose to take the reins of my art, what I feel is art forward. In my life I feel really fulfilled. I don't, I don't, I don't have like this hole of that I'm having to fill, which I did have before because I was, because I was always doing it for everybody else or I was always trying to prove myself and it really stressed me out. They thought I was batshit crazy for doing this stuff, like leaping and rolling and doing stuff like that, yeah. but they're, 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 then they came to see me do the work. And they came to see me, and like, because they live up in Leeds, and they came to see the show, and they they thought it was really amazing how we all bared our soul in front of everybody, and just the way I was interacting with them, they were just like, you're a much more grounded, mature individual, much more connected. Who now this from the door? I do beseech thee. And 
like they, they, they basically went from people who were like, you need to focus on your money, to being like, we really understand, we admire you for coming down here and living your dream and following your passion and not thinking about anything else. And that, that, that was a massive moment for me, for my parents to be like, we understand now what you're doing. I get creative fulfilment, I get, um, I get a, a group that I really care for, that really matter to me. Um, I am empowered in my, in my life because I'm doing what I want to do and not waiting and hoping that somebody will give me the opportunity to do that thing. Like, I'm adamant about this. I mean, you know, this. This is the time that when you light a fire and it sparks, it burns, it can burn really bright, but then it can go out in an instant. You know, and like you know, you know, someone passed away in during a rehearsal in the theater uh, before our uh, Dante's Inferno development or piece of theater last year. And in any moment, we it, any of us could die. You know, and so it's like, what do I want to literally spend my moment doing? Living for a dream in the future, or trying to make my moment fulfilled? And I chose that.